three guesses what we're making this morning. Any? We're making porridge. And we're making porridge because the other day a friend asked me how you make it. And she thought it was very complicated. But it's super easy. So please don't buy those sachets or pre-made like porridge. It's just so incredibly easy. So you get some oats and an equal amount of water and an equal amount of milk. And that's the basis of it. Now I know some people just do water or add a bit of salt. There are many variations. But this is, this is a nice starter. And then after you've made the porridge, you can add things. So my son puts a bit of jam on his porridge. I add some nuts and cinnamon. You know, everybody can make and flavor their own porridge. So, let's make it. This is Michael, this is the family cook. Okay, so let's turn on the heat. Uh, this is a non-stick pan, which I typically find is helpful because the porridge tends to stick um, a bit when it dries up. So we add the oats. Now, sometimes I leave the oats in a dry pan just to toast for a bit, but the kids don't like it. Stop doing that! So we'll just do it the plain old way and we'll add the water and the milk in no particular order. And then we bring that to a boil and we gently stir a few times. Um, and we stir that every now and then until it comes to a boil, then we let it sit for, for a bit and then it's done. That's it. So, the porridge is ready. I mean, you can leave it a little bit longer if you want to thicken it more, but for me this is fine, it's perfect. Um, so, next thing we do is we just dress it up. And for me, that means a little bit of cinnamon, some raisins, and some almonds. And that's one lovely bowl of energy served up within five minutes. So this is how I make my porridge. How do you make your porridge? Let me know in the comments. This was the family cook. See you next time.